Welcome to video 5 for this unit on functions. In this video, we're going to focus on domain and range. The domain of a function is the set of all possible input values. Depending on the situation represented, a function may take all numbers as its input or only a limited set of numbers. The range of a function is the set of all possible output values. Once we know the domain of a function, we can determine the range that makes sense in the situation. Let's look at an example. A gives the area of a square in square centimeters as a function of its side length, s, in centimeters. The input of A can be 0 or any positive number, such as 4, 7.5, or 19 thirds. It cannot include negative numbers because lengths cannot be negative. The domain of A includes 0 and all positive numbers, or S greater than or equal to 0. The output of function A is the area of a square in square centimeters, which cannot be negative, but can be zero or greater, not limited to whole numbers. The range of A includes zero and all positive numbers, or A of S is greater than or equal to zero. Let's look at another example. Function v gives the total number of visitors to a theme park as a function of days d since a new attraction was open to the public. The input of v can be positive or negative. A positive input means days since the attraction was open, and a negative input days before the attraction was open. The input can also be whole numbers or fractional. The statement v of 17.5 means 17.5 days after the attraction was open. The domain of v includes all numbers. If the theme park had been open for exactly one year before the new attraction was open, the domain would be all numbers greater than negative 365, or d is greater than or equal to negative 365. The output of function v is the number of visitors, which cannot be fractional or negative. The range of v therefore includes zero and all positive whole numbers. The graph of a function can sometimes give us information about its domain and range. This graph represents the best price of bagels as a function of the number of bagels bought. What are the domain and range of the function? The number of bagels cannot be negative, but could include zero, which represents no bagels bought. The domain of the function therefore includes zero and positive whole numbers. The range includes zero and certain positive values. The best price can be zero dollars for buying zero bagels, certain multiples of one dollar and twenty-five cents, certain multiples of two, and so on. Let's see another example. This graph represents the height of a bungee jumper as a function of seconds since the jump began. What are the domain and range of the function? The domain of the height function would include any amount of time since the jump began, up until the jump is complete. From the graph, we can tell that this happened more than 70 seconds after the jump began, but we don't know the exact value of t. The graph shows a maximum height of 80 meters, 
and a minimum height of 10 meters. We can conclude that the range of this function includes all values that are at least 10 and at most 80. Thank you for watching video 5 of 7 for this unit on functions.